The battle took place from 26th August to 30th August 1914 near the town of Tannenberg in East Prussia, which is now part of modern-day Poland. At the time, the Russian Empire was determined to fight against Germany and its allies because Germany had attacked France through Belgium and Luxembourg following the Schlieffen Plan. Russia deployed two armies to East Prussia with the aim of defeating the German army stationed there. The Russian troops were commanded by two generals, Alexander Samsonov and Paul von Rennenkamp. They had more than 200,000 troops and were divided into two groups. Samsonov led the second army towards Tannenberg, while Rennenkamp led the first army towards the city of Elenstein. The only issue was that these two commanders of the two Russian armies didn't get along very well. Both disliked each other and were not on the same page. They pursued different strategies and didn't communicate well with each other. The German army, led by experienced generals like Erich Ludendorff and Paul von Hindenburg, was called back into service at the age of 67 years long after retirement, had a smaller force of around 150,000 troops but was well equipped and had the advantage of being on their home soil. Russian commanders communicated and passed the orders using wireless radio sets, which the Germans were able to intercept and decode, and knew the exact location of the Russian troops, their movements and their plans. The German army was well prepared for the battle and they used this advantage to launch a surprise attack on the Russian troops. The Russians had planned that the second army would attack from the southern side of Tannenberg in order to sandwich the German forces deployed near the border. This order was also decoded by the Germans effectively and they devised a plan to counter this threat. It was planned that the Germans would take the initiative and attack the second Russian army first. The Germans used the railways to transport the troops quickly to the positions which was not known by the Russians. On August 26th, the German army launched a surprise attack on Samsonov's second army. The Russian troops were taken by surprise and chaos and confusion ensued. The German army was able to use their superior communication and coordination to outflank and surround the Russian troops. The Russian troops were unprepared for the attack and suffered heavy losses. Samsonov's second army was completely surrounded and his troops were cut off from communication and supplies. The German army continued to attack the Russian troops from all sides and the Russian troops were unable to break through the German lines. Samsonov realized that his army was doomed and attempted to escape with his staff. However, they were pursued by German troops and Samsonov eventually shot himself and committed suicide. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rannenkamp's first army was engaging the German army near Allenstein. However, the Russian troops were not able to coordinate with each other and Rannenkamp was not able to provide support to Samsonov's second army. On 30th August, the German army achieved a decisive victory over the Russian troops. The Russians suffered heavy losses with around 78,000 troops killed, wounded or missing and around 92,000 taken as prisoners of war. The German army suffered only around 12,000 casualties. The Battle of Tannenberg was a significant turning point in World War I. It demonstrated the superiority of the German army and the weakness of the Russian army. The battle had a significant impact on the war and the German victory paved the way for further German victories on the Eastern Front. In conclusion, the Battle of Tannenberg was a brutal and devastating battle that resulted in a significant victory for the German army. The Russian defeat was due to several factors including the lack of modern weapons, communication systems and coordination between the Russian commanders. The battle had far-reaching consequences for World War I and it remains a significant event in the history of the war.